All right, you welcome back to Touch and Sport on Sunday. And I tell you, uh, the Australian Open is still on. Uh, I tell you, Djokovic, you know, some of you don't play, do you play draft? Some of you play draft, right? And then when you sit down there, you sit down with these guys and they will tell you, uh, detain and sack. And they will say, the first will get one. And later, you know, it's like Cantab. You know, they'll come over you, you keep on running. Uh, you, you, you watch all those long distance races. When the guy, you are still running, they are going 20 laps. You are still in 10 laps. People have already come around <laughs> and they are there. And that is what Djokovic, that, that is what he does. Uh, so uh, 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 this time around, uh, it is two, two sets apiece. Uh, um, Djokovic won the first set, 6-4. Uh, Dominic Thiem, the young uh, Austrian who played back-to-back -back finals and lost in the French Open uh, uh, Grand Slam final. You know, he picked the next two sets, 6-4, uh, 6-2. Uh, six, six, but then uh, uh, Djokovic came back and took the fourth set, 6-3. Uh, uh, so they are now in the decider. After this, uh, you like, you know, the, the, the fifth set is the final set. So there is no way. You are that, you, anybody who wins this become the champion. If uh, uh, Dominic Thiem wins it, she joins Yesterday, uh, 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 Sophia Kenin, you know, has been his first ever uh, uh, Grand Slam uh, uh, title. But if Djokovic wins, Djokovic already has 16 big ones. You understand? He's chasing Nadal. Nadal is 19. Federer is on 20. So those three, those guys, and they were, we, we are in the race for the greatest tennis player of all time. If Djokovic wins this, which will be his eighth in a row, he has played seven finals and he has won all seven. This is the so this one is where they're pushing. Or if he wins, it will be eight, and it will be his seventeenth Grand Slam. That will be two behind uh, 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 Nadal and three behind uh, Federer. And this is it is not this is the, 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 the that day that is becoming very very hot. Uh, let me welcome my guys back in the house. Uh, Have they been around? Yemi, how are you? I'm good. Good afternoon, Vias. Um, uh, it's good to be back on set uh, this week for us uh, sport enthusiasts. I think it's been uh, it's been uh, uh, yeah. uh, from the loss of uh, Kobe Brand at the beginning of uh, at the week, and um, uh, to Odia and Judy Gallo, uh, even trending. On the day of Brexit, definitely for, uh, for his uh, signing. Trending on trending the day of Brexit. The day of Brexit. Uh, for me, a lot of people would not um, understand the uh, how do I put it, the, uh, how big that term um, is for a player in his um, 30s who has always dreamed to play for um, a club like uh, Manchester United. Uh, for Dion Judy Gallo uh, for Nigeria, I think is a fantastic one. And uh, for those calling uh, for the handlers of the Super Eagles. To take a give Odion Gallo another uh, looking, I think for me, uh, for for Odion Judy Gallo and uh, Victor Moses, is, I think the national team is a distraction for them now. They, they should, should concentrate they, 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 on they, their they, club. They've said they, 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 are, they are gone. They should concentrate on the club careers and let them make the best um, uh, uh, out of it. Uh, but as squad, as squad players, if they, if they are coming there and you you you, you look at your squad in them, you look at people you have. If the players you have, like look, I said, Odion is a left national team at the, at his peak. Top scorer at qualifier, top scorer at AFCON. I mean, is it that experience and that thing, whatever, whether you like it or not, he's going to gain one or two things also playing at as, Manchester United. As, you know, as, as much as you can yes. discount. As a squad, as, if the coach and the players they want to come in. As the experience. Yes. The national team has moved on after Odion Igalo and uh, 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 Moses. And I think they should focus on their club career. It's a distraction to them. That's, that's my own uh, uh, personal opinion. Okay. I want Odion Igalo to make best use of this six months in uh, Manchester United. Uh, I, I love the debate about him being, uh, whether he's the first or whether he's uh, it, it's, it's, it's good for us. Because it's been a while where we've seen uh, uh, Nigerians in top uh, teams. teams. Look at what is happening to us on the African continent. Uh, when last did any Nigeria make it to the um, uh, top three of the nomination for uh, African Football of the Year? It, 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 it's been a while. I think the last Nigerian that won it was... Uh, is uh, it uh, Wako Kanu. How, how long ago was that? So I'm not saying yes, Odio Ngalo can do that in, or will do that in uh, six months. Yeah. But for, for, for him to have rejected a club like uh, Tottenham, for Conte to be uh, after him. Milan to be after him. Uh, they rejected and, Barcelona. They rejected Barcelona. Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona. Yes. So what are we talking they, about? They are seeing something. They're, 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 absolutely. So for, for me, that, that, that's fantastic. And talking about uh, the Australian Open, uh, <laughs> he, he, he never ceases to uh, amaze me when you see all this young uh, female uh, tennis player. Uh, Andre uh, Bresco from uh, Andre Canada, School. Um, now, now uh, Naomi Osaka, Naomi Osaka uh, <laughs> Muguruza uh, herself, and now uh, my Sophia Kenny. In 2005, as a six years old, uh, WTA put uh, something on Twitter this week. Yeah, we saw uh, Christa taking Take her on a tour, and uh, Christa saying, "Yes, one day this lady, uh, this, this, this girl, child. this child will be 
uh, might be a, a Grand Slam yeah. winner. And look at us. I'm, uh, uh, 2005, about till now, years. No, no professional coach, a dad, self-taught, never been involved in the sport, devoted everything to make sure this girl achieves her dream. And here we are, making 2.1 million pounds. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> that she's almost 2.1 million dollars. She's almost doubling all that uh, her career earnings of like uh, 2.9. So for me, when you have a dream, chase it. When yeah. you see talent in your children, devote the time, give it to them. Now they are reaping the fruit of their labor. Uh, for me, uh, Sophia, the sky is the beginning. And when you look at the future of women tennis, with uh, Naomi Osaka, with um, uh, Sophia, uh, Coco Golf, Coco Golf. Yeah. What are we talking about? What are we I talking think about? The future is, is very, very, very bright. bright. Uh, uh, you, he, he just talked about here that 2.1 million, 2.1 million dollars. And I tell you this: the father left Russia with 400 dollars. <laughs> four, <laughs> one, two. That is four. This is four times one, right? 400 dollars. That's what the father <laughs> took when the mother they left Russia. Now, she, you, 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 you saw when she won. She went to be the father, and the father was. Calm down, Farah Bale. You understand? <laughs> yes, just no. go, just go and talk to them. Talk to them from your heart. I tell mm. you this. Uh, uh, certain things you should watch. Not just only game, but what happens afterwards. Okay, it's in the house. Uh, uh, okay. Ken, it's nice being here. Yeah. Um, yeah, me has, he, he has said so much about Kenny, but I think one thing we should take hold from this whole episode is um, sport is something that unites not only nations, even family. With this, you. And that's why when you see most of these uh, little ones eating it big, check. It has to do with uh, they have their parent as their first. They are coaching. Coach. They are parents are still co coaching most so of them. Not because the parent had that experience, and th that was why the death of Kobe Bryant was even more painful. Beautiful. Because um, mm. when you take your kids to all these um, sporting or social things, the the bonding you get, you know, it's not about the academic stress. or so you are taking them to school. They are thinking of the stress of academics. This one, they are in a relaxed environment. And that is why it produces uh, more. They do more. They give more. They run faster. They jump higher. You know, they hit the short other. And that is just uh, sport. It's not only about, yes, unifying factor, <coughs> but what happens to the uh, family. And the family is as only be the uh, best thing of every nation. So right. if the family gets it wrong, we can never get it wrong sport-wise. If the family get this wrong, I want to. Before I come to you, I, I, I want to come to you. you. You want to say something? Yeah, I want to say something in, yeah. with regards to the family support yeah. for players. I remember growing up when I had a stint with uh, Greater Tomorrow and you. I form. remember. Yeah. <laughs> now, my parents and el uh, elder brothers did not give me the support that I needed. But you look at for every successful sportsman of this age, the role of the, 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 the parents, it's very key. I'll give you a classic example. If you go to the parks, a lot of parks in uh, in UK, you see one coaching academy or the other. Parents investing their time and money from as, as uh, was early as two, three, four, five, you see parents taking their children to these uh, football academies that are scattered around. So the role of the family is really key in the development of a uh, sportsman. So after that, I was in, I was in, I was in, in Warsaw, Warsaw, in the Midlands, you understand? And then you, 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 they, they, they have very small, very small uh, uh, pitches, and the parents are not even allowed inside. They will stay outside, and you bring your kid in there, they go inside. I went in there, I wanted to take some, you know, some pictures, and they said, maybe, I, you know, I don't need to do some interviews, they said, no, I, I should have an introduction or something before I could do that. But you see the, the parents all watching their kids, taking them there and bringing them back. Okay, mm -hmm. let's come back home. Let's go. Uh, when the LMC does things that are, you know, where we believe are not okay, we speak it up. But when they get it right, we also say so. Uh, in the case of Nasrawa, uh, I think they, they took a decision. And then I think that's, what, let, let us look at what, um, what decision uh, 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 they took. He said, uh, the LMC has granted conditional approval for Nasra United to admit fans to its home games after the club's completion of the five home fixtures closed-door sanction due to the fracas that occurred uh, at the end of the, of the match, the fourth fixture against Plato United in Lafia. The LMC has also directed Nasra United, as part of the conditions to be met before the sanction will be lifted, to enact a security barricade, erect a security barricade, a tunnel for players and match officials, which the club has also complied with in fulfillment of other uh, conditions stipulated in the uh, uh, summary jurisdiction. Nasra United have held orientation programs. That is, that is key. 
They have developed orangeal programs for their supporters to create awareness against violence uh, uh, at match venues. The program was supervised by officers of the state police and the Nasarawa State FA. Uh, um, uh, let me come back to you, Dele. Uh, uh, Dele, you, 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 this is talk about obligation of the clubs. All right. I mean, you, 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 over, you, you, you have experiences in one of those top clubs in Europe. How did it go? You, I think you were in Chelsea some time ago? Yeah, I was in Chelsea about yeah. uh, three months ago. Okay. I think one of the things I've been, I've been reading a lot about the development of uh, the new approach to uh, sports uh, recording okay. and coverage of, of sport in Nigeria. So that made me to go to Chelsea as a filmmaker, okay. to find out, because they have all these big clubs in the uh, UK, they have their different uh, TV. TV. And I just said, no, instead of reading, let me just go and see. I introduced myself and I was taken through the uh, their sports, uh, sorry, the, the filming, the coverage department, and I was, it just blew my mind. The sort of cameras they have, the quality of their production team, it was so superb, and I just felt, I wish we can have this by our, club, our clubs, <laughs> it's possible. No, 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 we, 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 we are saying, okay, but, so, <laughs> okay, uh, go on, go on, go on. You're, yeah, you're it, talking it, about it, the security it, and stuff like the, that. The security, too. Yeah. Now, I took one of our friends, uh, Eminike Agu, okay, to the Chelsea ground about a month or two months ago. And uh, we were allowed to film to record in front of the Chelsea named their banner. Okay. But when we moved to where they have this cut out of their players. We are stopped, we are not allowed to take it. And I asked why. They said for uh, copyright infringement, we cannot do that. And I started thinking, hmm, we don't have this sort of thing here. How can we start to put our heads together to ensure that we have things that will make our sports coverage and sporting events to be apart with what we, we, we see outside? So, um, uh, uh, okay. okay. To, um, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, the lines are still open. We'll take one or two calls before the end of the show. I hope so. So, oh, yeah, go so on. speaking to um, the decision of uh, LMEC uh, for Nasra United, yes. I think um, uh, this is a right uh, step in the right direction. Yes, they've been properly sanctioned. You know, we've complained there a couple of times that most of these sanctions are just a, a, a slap, slap in, in the wrist. wrist. Yeah. So now, with what happened on the end of March the 4 against Plato United in Lafia, where their fan invaded the pitch and um, uh, uh, were very unruly, uh, they've been uh, slammed a, a five-game uh, which they have they, they applied to. Yes. They've done the program. They've, they've done everything, and now they are giving them a conditional approval uh, back. I think now, yes, the orientation has taken place with, with respect to the program led by the FA and the police um, uh, command. I think they now they they, 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 they now know better in terms of uh, awareness where education um, uh, comes in for the supporters to know if you go against the law of the game. Yes, they will come heavily on, uh, on, on you. And if we're going to have a viable league. Security has to be top-notch. Right. And like you said, the branding has to be right. Uh, the marketing has to be right. Uh, we, 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 we must be, ac be accountable to those giving us the phone. All right, let's, we have, uh, uh, is that from uh, Ibad, uh, Ibadon? Yes, yeah. Ayo from Ibadon. Ayo, how are you? Hello, Ken. Hello, yeah. Ayo, the Golden Book of Shooting Stars. Ayo, Ayo, Ademoyoka. How are you? Ademokoya. <laughs> you should write your name in full. How are you, Ayo? I know, I, I want to sue you for... Or whatever now. Up suiting. Hello? I say up suiting. Up suiting, up suiting, up suiting. <laughs> I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying this, your copyright thing and the LNC and what we need to do to improve our league. Okay. You know, this is something you have been advocating for. <laughs> this is what Yeni has been advocating for yeah. from his days in the battle team. But it's like we are not learning anything. It's quite pathetic when you hear people saying, uh, this is what is going on in London. People take their kids to this, to that. This has been a norm in the 70s and the 80s before that uh, you have these coaches, youth clubs here and there. But now, even every field in every corner now has turned to a shopping complex. It's very sad. You don't even have a field for football anywhere for anybody to go and play. Even schools doesn't even have a football field. So it's, it's disheartening. I don't know what we are doing concerning grassroots and uh, it's sad. And then I, concerning... Um, concerning uh, I, 30, whoa, whoa. Se 30 seconds, Ayo. All right, all right, all right, all right. I just want to appreciate what you're doing. And uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, whether it's or no, it's 
you have to do what you have to do. Thank uh, you. It's pathetic. <laughs> These boys say they are not playing for Nigeria. Now you should just rethink what we are doing to these boys. This All right. Thanks, Ayo. Ayo. Ayo wrote a book on shooting stars. It's an identity for a follower. So I tell you, he was here. We'll bring him again. Uh, uh, we, we, are, we are leaving. Uh, yes, I think if the league is going to uh, grow, we should um, uh, do the right thing and put uh, the, the, the development of the league as a uh, top, top priority. Okay. Yeah. It's not enough to ban. Uh, when you cover the league, you can easily pick out the corporate and let's start to prosecute this people. So one after the other. Let's prosecute the corporate. All right. Mm. I think the media has a role to play in educating everyone, whether the fan or the club owners or the players. So the, the, the media has a role to play in ensuring that we have uh, the, uh, the league yeah, the league of our dreams. dreams. Something that is comparable with any anyone other, like yeah. like in Chelsea that you went and nobody attacked you. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you this. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's always a pleasure talking sport with you guys. And I tell you the feedback we get, the camaraderie. I wish one day I will come and present this show from your your living room, and then we can have that fun. I'm Ken Ochonogo. Judy, hello. Go to United and score. Omo Eji. Have a blessed Sunday. <laughs>